Welcome to WebRTC Tips from WebRTC Ventures. I'm Aaron Syme, CEO and founder at WebRTC Ventures. And today I want to talk with you a little bit about integrating telephony into your WebRTC video application. So there are a number of different use cases uh, that you might consider for integrating a traditional phone call into your WebRTC video application. One of those is if uh, call centers is something we've done a number of times, helping a call center integrate video into their traditional call center for uh, sign language interpretation is common use case there, or any sort of customer service scenario um, where it's beneficial for the uh, people to see each other directly, and certainly interpretation is one of those items where that can be beneficial. If you are building a standard meeting tool or really any kind of WebRTC uh, video call, you may want to have dial-in as an option for that so that participants can also join the call from their phone. So very beneficial if they have a poor internet connection um, or they are having trouble with their microphone on their computer perhaps, being able to use the phone as a backup. So this is something we've all commonly seen in meeting tools that we use. We can build that into your WebRTC application as well. Another scenario to consider uh, would be a click to call button. So when you go and visit a website and you uh, click on the icon in the bottom left or right of the screen for chat live with a customer support agent, most of the time that's a text chat, a live text chat, or maybe a chat bot that you're uh, speaking with. Uh, other times through WebRTC, you could do that as a live video and audio chat through the browser, both participants using WebRTC. But in some cases, uh, especially if the company has a traditional call center already, they may want to have a, a click to call button there that allows the customer on the website to use WebRTC to, uh, and their microphone through the browser to capture their audio, but then connects that into a traditional telephony call to the agent. So that might be an example of a click to call scenario. And finally, another use case you might consider is um, a soft phone being built into a web application or, or a dev desktop application either way where the soft phone is using WebRTC to capture the audio of the person making the call, but then connects into a traditional telephony network to make outbound phone calls. So this would be common in a sales type of scenario where maybe your sales agents are working within your CRM so that they're seeing the customer data about the person that they're calling, but using that tool to call out to that person so that you can track things about that sales call directly in the application. So those are a few examples. There are certainly others where you might want to consider having a connection between a traditional phone call on the PSTN into your WebRTC video and or audio conference. There's a few different ways that you could approach doing this as well. Uh, if you're using a CPaaS, a uh, commercial communication platform as a service, a lot of those already have an option uh, built in where in addition to using their commercial media servers for the WebRTC calls, they also have ability to dial in or dial out to that built into that service. So if you're using a CPaaS, that can be a really nice option for this because they've already handled all the interaction for you between the video conference and the uh, telephony integration and it, it just becomes an extra charge on your account basically to use that option. So that can be nice. Uh, or you could look at uh, if you're building your own WebRTC application having it connect to a commercial SIP gateway that you use and another type of SaaS scenario. Or you could do this completely do-it-yourself with uh, completely open source components if that's the architecture of your application. There's no right or wrong answer on that. It really just depends on the use case and the architecture that you have in your system and we can help you in any of those scenarios. So this is just one example scenario that I have here of using dial-in into a WebRTC video conference. So in this sample architecture, and this is just one sample of how you could do it, I have the open source Janus media servers here being used for the group video chat on the left of multiple people on their laptops doing video and audio through the browser as normal. Uh, and then Janus, the media server, does not have telephony built directly into it, but it does have a SIP plugin that allows you to, to connect to other systems through a SIP protocol. And so we might have, uh, we might connect into a commercial SIP gateway uh, using that or use our own open source configuration, uh, maybe asterisk as our PBX. So if we already have our own internal telephony network in our company, then that would be a good option uh, to use through that SIP plugin. And that'll allow us to have dial in or dial out type of capabilities 
built right into our video conference application. So there is no right or wrong way to do it. It really depends on your use case, but it's possible in a number of different architecture topologies. Our team at WebRTC Ventures would be happy to help you explore that for your use case. Just contact us by visiting webrtc.ventures or follow us on Twitter at WebRTC Ventures for more WebRTC tips like this from our engineering team. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'm Aaron Syme, founder and CEO at WebRTC Ventures. Let's make it live. <laughs>